This is probably the worst prank video I have ever seen, and I'm not being funny, it's probably yours as well. I don't normally make these type of videos, but this video I was so taken back by and shocked, I don't know how it could even be considered a prank. And obviously it comes from everyone's favorite platform, TikTok. The thing is, at the start of this video, you think it's gonna be generally quite wholesome. It's got some nice music in the background, Two, a couple are just enjoying food together, and they're gonna help someone out. But the ending is just so out of the ordinary and just straight up disturbing. I, d I don't know how you can even consider this a prank. Just watch. Yo, excuse me, guys. Um, I'm trying to get something to eat. Do you think you might be spare change by any chance? Do you want a seven minute fix? I could get you a $5 meal. If you could, it'd be a blessing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. What's your name? My name is Fun. Fun Young Trey, thank you. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you so much for giving me that food. I want to give you this rock. <laughs> now, if you didn't give me any money to get food, mm -hmm. I would have bashed both your skulls in with that rock. But I want to say, life's about choices. And you made a valuable choice and the correct choice. You decided to spare money for that meal and I decided to spare your lives. Talking about, bro. You guys are what? super sweet. sweet. Are you fucking serious, honey, honey, honey. bro? Get your shit and bow. You guys are really sweet, you know. You fucking talk I to appreciate like that. that. How dare you, bro? Thank you. Oh, you're you lucky. A fucking kind gesture to buy yeah. you something, and that's what you want. Like, honestly, what kind of prank even is this? Hey guys, thanks for helping me out and buying me some food. Because if you hadn't, I would have literally killed you with this rock. The thing is, there are people who would generally need help when it comes to buying food. And if you think about how many people will see this video and now be, or even more so than before, apprehensive to help anyone, it's just such a shame because of a dumb TikTok prankster. You think you might be spare change by any chance? Do you want a seven minute fix? I could get you a $5 meal. If you could, it'd be a blessing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. What's your name? My name is Fun. Fun Young Trey, thank you. I mean, just shout out to Fonya for honestly just being a nice human being and honestly just trying to do the right thing and just helping someone out when they're hungry. These two people are just much less likely now to ever do a kind thing for a stranger again. People like this just go around making the world worse. I don't understand how anyone can live with yourself when your existence is fundamentally about making things worse for the people around you. I want to give you this rock. <laughs> now... If you didn't give me any money to get food, mm -hmm. I would have bashed both your skulls in with that rock. And people honestly wonder why that people are less inclined to help people nowadays. It's because of dumbasses like this. I mean, just look at how generally uncomfortable they are, even when he hands the rock over as a present. I want to give you this rock. <laughs> just what a straight up uncomfortable dude to be around. Doing a little bit more digging into this video, I actually found out this is someone I've spoken about before on my channel. I don't want to mention his name because honestly, I don't want to give him any credibility because he's just straight up an awful human being. But a lot of his pranks just consist of just harassing women and making them incredibly uncomfortable, like this one. Hi. Hi, why are you touching me? Because you smell so good. Okay, uh, no thank you. Can I maybe smell you? I see that you're doing some sort of weird psychology experiment, but if you put your hands on me again, I will call the fucking police. Get away from you me. You smell like a beautiful vanilla candle. Help! Spaghetti. I don't necessarily agree with the woman yelling out the R word because that is clearly not what's happening. But at the same time, if you're making someone that uncomfortable that they're going to yell out that type of word, maybe you should just stop and walk away. Like, what is the actual end game of these pranks? Because they're not funny. They're not in any way interesting. It's just very disturbing to watch someone do this and consider it a prank but it gets worse so keep watching don't do that <laughs> help i'm being attacked oh my god this is this is gold by the way keep going keep going say say he's black say he's black um, don't you have security in this store i went to get chicken nuggets ma'am you were next to the chicken nuggets and i went like that on the side i didn't even touch you so he grabbed my body security. what body <laughs> i was just walking in the park and i saw I saw your granddaughter, she's just so beautiful. I was wondering, can I maybe have her hand in marriage? <laughs> Stop it. Hey. Excuse me, don't do How that. are you doing? Excuse me?
I'm not here to be the white knight for these women. I'm just someone with a brain and knows what's considered right from wrong. I do feel bad, however, for women when they when these type of discarded concept art Lord of the Rings orcs go around just being blatant douchebags to women. Making people uncomfortable isn't in any way funny. It's just straight up cringe. I was just walking in the park and I saw I saw your granddaughter. She's just so beautiful. I was wondering, could I maybe have her hand in marriage? Yeah, this is probably one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever seen. I don't really find it that funny going up to someone and implying to them when you don't know them that their granddaughter is beautiful and then asking them for their hand in marriage. Like, what Like, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> Stop it. Hey. Excuse me. Don't do how are you that. doing? Excuse me? This clip right here is just straight up dog behavior. I honestly just don't understand any logistics about how this is considered a prank. Can someone honestly just point out the prank in any of these videos? Like this video right here, this clip is him just chasing a woman while she's jogging and just like sniffing around like a dog. Stop it. Hey, Excuse me, don't do how are you that. doing? Excuse me? If you didn't give me any money to get food, mm -hmm. I would have bashed both your skulls in with that rock. I don't want to come across like the jokes police because I joke around a lot on my channel. I also don't want to say I'm totally against pranks, but I definitely believe that pranks on TikTok are a lot worse than they ever were on YouTube, with a few exceptions of course, as YouTube pranksters were just deplorable a large majority of the time. I just think with the fast paced nature of that TikTok is, and how the algorithm can make anyone popular on the app, it just encourages people to act more and more reckless and overall just stupid than we have ever seen before. We have people on TikTok for pranks just walking inside people's houses. You man come? Hello um, James. We need to speak to James. James? Hi. Hi. Um, that James? Is this Wait, where the study group is? Study no. group? No. What the numbers is this? No. Um, yeah, study group? Yeah. Well, this is not where the study yeah, group is. We got kids, man. Wait, oh, you got kids? Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, I thought this was a study group. I actually thought. And just to start that to me is just absolutely insane and not acceptable to be considered a prank. I guarantee with this kind of mentality, you're going to see people just straight up stealing cars or running off with babies and considering it a prank. I mean, how do you guys see these so-called pranks? Do you consider them funny because no one necessarily got hurt and it was seen as a shock value? Or do you just see it as something that is just really stupid and needs to stop now? With all that being said, I'm done talking about this absolute bin, man. I honestly don't understand how anyone can do this and live their life just making other people's life miserable. With all that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Accept this guy. He can get in the bin. I will see you all next time.